Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19, I'm Andy, and this is Let's Play on the Hofbergman map. So, I took a break from... I don't remember which, what I did on the last episode. I think I might have done some spreading on compost. Um, anyway, uh, so I took a break from it, and I'm currently just cultivating some of this uh, oilseed radish into the ground. And if you look here at look here you can see then you get another level of fertilization on the ground so which is pretty cool actually so cultivating this into ground and we'll plant something eventually as soon as we get the temperature up a little bit um, pretty cool I, I like this definitely an interesting thing in farming simulator which I, I talked about that earlier but I haven't done this I never used this feature I might no I don't even believe I tried it any time in the game I just did my thing as always and uh, now I'm actually trying something that you could use which is cover crops so we're cultivating our cover crops into the ground and then we get pretty much the fertilization we need. So the next thing we'd have to do is just uh, plant something here in the fields, which is a future project. So we'll see what we'll plant on the different fields. Um, but still cover crops needs to be cultivated into ground, which is a pretty simple thing. Looks kind of cool. I like this. Nice tractor. Um, it's a bit a little busy playing other maps. Uh, so I played some of the difficult uh, style new Let's Play, which I hopefully hope you've seen, which is uh, what I call the uh, different struggles, which is basically me playing two maps at the same time, <laughs> shorter episodes. But uh, and with a real numbers mod, which is kind of cool. I don't have that on here, uh, but think about it. Also added uh, a realistic uh, realism vehicle mod. No, it's not called added realism mod. Added realism vehicle mod, maybe. Um, which is kind of cool, and it definitely <laughs> makes things a lot harder when you're trying to you the stuff like cultivating and stuff you, know, you have narrow tires they s actually sink into the ground which I think is pretty awesome for mod but I don't, I'm not sure I will try here we'll, we'll, I'll think about it might do it or not we'll see. it's a pretty powerful tractor here and up here and there and everywhere and we'll get another level of fertilization I don't know why you see like your viewport always are level with the ground or at the horizon it means we're actually tilting I'm guessing you would probably now oh, maybe we would tilt I haven't really driven to side this way in real life <laughs> so I can't really tell how you would react I probably tilt that's probably realistic I think maybe I don't know maybe yeah, so I'm gonna put this on I'm gonna go down there and then I'm gonna go put this on the hide help him on and then we're gonna take take load up a bunch of uh, compost and we're gonna do last level on the last field I'm compost spreading compost on which is over which is our biggest field actually I have a little bit left I don't know if I'm hoping I could 
do the rest of it with one load of compost but I'm not entirely sure about that we'll see we'll try it anyway and see if it works I wish I had like a gigantic cultivator, but I don't need it. This is okay. This is an okay cultivator. Cultivator. Let's go down here and we'll turn over here. <laughs> and we'll run the hide work mod. Press H. So I will continue doing that and we'll go here, which is uh, our another. We should have a compost burner, which we're gonna fill up. Can I actually remember if I did this on the last episode? I think I did, but I might be mistaken. But this is the first time you see it been doing it, but I think I did use compost last time. Around. So we're going to use pretty much all of these, both of these silos, to make compost. I think that's pretty cool, actually. It's a cool add-on. We're doing, it's basically like doing silage, except you get compost instead. And yeah, we can put what, pretty much whatever you want to in here. And it will turn it into compost. I got like 200,000 liters. Which won't let us cover all the all of our fields, but some of them. Pretty boring stuff, loading this. I had a relative that pretty much did this as a job, just drove a wheel loader. Actually, we knew each other, we were born the same, uh, he's married into my sister's family. I, I, he, my sister's ex-family, so <coughs> I guess we're not related anymore. But um, um, actually, I was when I was conscript, we were in the Air Force together, so we know knew each other from that time. He I was a guard, and he uh, was maintenance, and he actually learned to drive a wheel loader there. And he then he just continued with that kind of job work. I went into university instead. I ended up in a different line of work, but um, it doesn't continue. So basically, <laughs> it's been, I've been working 16 years, so, so at least uh, 20, like 22 years since I was a conscript, was in the Air Force, so I guess he spent 22 years driving wheel loaders. Maybe it's a gigantically fun job. I have no idea. It's fun to play it, but I'm pretty sure I would get bored. I don't have the personality to do it. I need some sort of evolution or development, mental development. I need to learn things, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you don't you don't get challenges. I think you get a lot of challenges in these kind of jobs. But, but uh, I'm just saying that uh, and every job is needed, so I'm not talking down to any job. I'm just saying that I, me as a person, I, I need to constantly learn stuff because that's the way I challenge myself and I like challenges uh, and it's probably a different kind of challenges than this kind of this line of job but I don't know what I'm talking about don't listen to me <laughs> I'm just probably making everyone pissed or mad at me sorry I apologize that case I don't I'm, I'm not trying to talk down to any line of job it's all needed in, in a society that's the whole thing about it we all need it even our different competences our different strengths and weaknesses for that instance are all part of society what makes society work so um so then we need i guess kind of need my job line of job to line of work to definitely this kind of job we need someone that makes the food which the other guys eat, but they need us because we do stuff that takes care of your mental health, and you need that too. Since human beings are very complex, so everyone is needed. Is my point in society? 
I was had a talk. I had this client who was like 13, and he was like, "Oh, I, I guess I go into cleaning like my mother because I don't have the brains to do anything else." And I was like, "What, what do you mean? Does, does that really you talk about it like it's a bad thing?" And he said, "Oh yeah, that's not a I mean, cool go- job." And I said, "Well, I worked. I actually worked in a school uh, when there was a strike among the the." personnel that did the cleaning and I would say it, it took us uh, about five working days and then we had to close the whole school down because no one was cleaning so I'm pretty darn sure everyone need it, is needed and on, on one of the most important jobs in any location is the person that cleans it so I have uh, utmost respect for people who do that line of work and I do not look down on them so that was just trying to explain I'm not looking down on anyone that drives a wheel loader for a living it's an important job just like my job is important and anyone who listens here is and their, your jobs are important what you do or what you're planning to do or your parents what they do is important everything is important we're all needed in this grand scheme of society um, so what else I wanted to talk about? I'm, I'm starting to climate compensate. So I actually calculated how much stuff, how much CO2 we release into, and other gases we release into the atmosphere. And um, we, as a family, uh, it's me, my fiance, and our two kids, we are now climate compensating. So, uh, and it's l- actually slightly more than we actually sp- use. So we're going to give a bit back but then again I spent 40 some odd years uh, not doing that so um, I guess we do need to let me see I think it's here um, so we do I <laughs> calculated if we compensate at the rate we do now it will take us about 200 years to no, not 200 years. Oh yeah, like over 100 years to no, 70. Sorry, 70 years, 76 years, I think, before we are actually plus. Before I compensated all the stuff I released during my growth, so years so far because I haven't com- compensated yet. So I probably need to increase that, uh, which we'll do eventually, and we'll get it down to like 25 years or so. So I'm gonna end up in a positive. I'm, I'm gonna give back to earth then I'm gonna then I'm taking it out taking out of it uh, that's an active choice I have the economic possibility to do that and I'm gonna definitely gonna do it because I don't want to destroy earth I think climate is important just like all if we li- listen to the uh, different pods I listen to which are m- made by farmers they are really Im- it's stuff that's really important to them. They live from the land they farm. And uh, as if they want to try to continue doing that for generations, then they need to take care of the farmland. So that's cool to listen to, and uh, it's definitely... And I, uh, I know Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg is a controversial person around the world and a lot of people don't like her uh, and I don't have any personal opinion about her as a person but it certainly made me think about climate and I think that's a pretty good thing I'm definitely happy that she at least affected my life in some way and in a pos- positive way from my point of view so I'm going to try to do something about it Okay, so I don't think we're gonna go all the way up and down on this load. I think we need to go refill it in again. Um, interesting, the climate thing, because when you calculate, we don't go away. I used to drive, like, go around uh, with airplanes, but I I don't do that anymore. Which means we basically. <laughs> the amount of CO2 we as a family release into the atmosphere is the equivalent of what a four-person family would uh, release going back and forth to Thailand for a week. 
which is interesting and I didn't know that and I'm sort of well oh you're probably gonna miss like a little bit there oh never mind I'm not gonna go fill it with that little bit um so even though we go on vacation with our caravan and our car we still release a lot less CO2 than you most of my friends do who go traveling around the globe I have a friend who she doesn't have a car and she goes public transport which is, which is really cool but she also she does that for environmental reasons which I think is awesome but then she goes to South America like two or three times a year and it's like well, I'm sorry she <laughs> That's not very environmentally friendly. And probably, is, if you really care about the environment, don't go popping around the world all the time, because that will destroy the world. A lot more than I and my two kids will do. So, but then again, I don't mind people traveling. I'm going to travel. I wanted to, um, my dream trip is with my kids and my fiance to go to New York. I've been to New York twice. I want to go back there again with the kids. Okay, it's, it's a really cool place, and um, but that time around, we're gonna climate compensate that trip. So we're gonna, I'm gonna save money. So I actually make sure we don't release CO2 into the atmosphere without compensating it. So some people say that's stupid and silly, and you don't need to do that. But I want to do it. It's important to me. So let's just go and clean this mess up. Um, uh, I guess compost dirties things up quite a lot. So we spread that field, so I think do I have no other fields left? Because these are fully uh, these are full I guess this one. This one we need to fertilize this one more level. But and this one, I guess. These two needs one. No, actually, we're going to cultivate that. I don't know if we cultivated. Okay, I'm kind of curious. We go see that field. I, th I don't know if I, I don't know if I have cultivated it. In that case, we need to go spread some fertilizer or slurry or something on it. Or maybe we'll spread some manure on it maybe that's a good thing and the, the field we did will be full level when we cultivate that into the ground so here pretty much spot on everything is where it should be uh, good I think this is a good way of, of actually fertilizing. We don't, we're not going to spend as much on fertilizer this time around as we did in the last year in the game. A little bit, but not a lot. Not nearly as last year, where we spent quite a lot of, quite a lot of mm, money on that. Let's see. We are going to go here and go this place and enter. Quick exit here. So no, I cultivate it. So we need to fertilize this, or either we need to fertilize this one level, or we just leave it as it is. I guess we need to climb it. Oh, well, I'll think about it. So I'm gonna stop here. Uh, this has been a let's play on the Hof Bourbon map. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you like this episode, please hit like, leave a comment, or share. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.